All we've got to do now is arrange for you to have a test. I'll fix an appointment at the clinic. Right. Uh, when did you say officially? I'm busy. Well, I'm sorry at bars United this, Doc. Appalling. Uh, but it's old Reg across the road. He looks a bit dodgy. Like he's had a stroke or something. Is he conscious? No, he's barely breathing. Have you phoned for an ambulance? I came straight. I'll do it now, will you? Pauline, I'll have to see you later. And tell the people waiting outside I'll be back as soon as I can. Right. You found him then, Dennis? Uh, ambulance. Yeah, kicked his door in. Yeah, uh, can you send an ambulance to... Oh, what number is it, Paul? Um, 23. 23 Albert Square. Walford. And me? Oh, I'm Dan Watts, public in the Queen Victoria. It's an old boy. He's had a stroke or something. It's actually old dodgy strawberry. Mm. Where's me facts? You've given them up, ain't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'd better go and tell this lot. Oh, what's up with you then, Paul? Oh, uh, confidential, Dennis. Here, it's a good thing I weren't undressed when you come in, wasn't it? Wouldn't have bothered me. I would have kept my eyes shut. Here. What's all this about then, Lou? I don't know, Ethel. Who is it? They're taking Reg to hospital. How do you know? I saw Den and Arthur go in. Den came out, then the doctor went in. Den went back in again, then the ambulance came. Had a busy day, ain't you? It was us who went and told Den and Pete. Bet you still ain't got no peace pudding, though, have you? Peace pudding? His dad would have had some, wouldn't he, Lou? He knew you liked it, didn't he? God knows why I ate the stuff. If you sleep more time watching what your customers want instead of all the comings and goings in the square, we'd all be a lot better off. Here, I'm going to have a look, Lou. Come on. No, we'll take care of our own, thank you very much. Not as he was one of our own miserable old perisher. Oh, you just don't know, do you? When someone's missing, and then when you do notice, it's too late. We did. He didn't come in for his milk. For three days. We told them. Well, good for you, love. It's nice to know there's still a bit of community feeling left. Mm. Even if it ain't done him much good. No one needs me anymore. I've got a pub to run. I better tell Sue. He ain't dead, is he, Doctor? Not yet. The less said about this in a moment, Arthur, the better. You must be joking, Doctor. Yeah. Gossip will know it soon enough. Dogs to a bone. Tell her. Tell her. You want the baby, don't you? Of course we do. Well, you and Arthur just tell her. Lose weight, stop smoking, have the test and tell her. It's all right for you. You ain't got to face her. You ain't got to live with her. Sooner or later, Arthur, she's bound to notice. Uh, have you heard any more about Reg, Doctor? No. Oh. Do you think you've been lying like that all the time? It's difficult to tell, Pauline. I've heard all sorts of things. Yes, gossip. Our chiefest pleasure. Now, when I have some information on Reg Pauline, I'll make sure it's dispensed to the community, probably via Ethel. But now, you have some joyful information of your own to impart. Yeah, thanks ever so much, Doctor. Yeah, thanks very much indeed. All right. Thank you. Couldn't you tell her? Yes, it's Dr. Legg here. You left a message on my answer phone. Now, I'm sorry. This is the first opportunity I've had. Really? No, I didn't notice. It was just a quick examination. There was no reason to suspect such an injury. You sure? No, he was sitting, giving every indication of collapse. I see. Well, I'll wait to hear from them. <laughs>